I already have an awesome Moto Vlog setup, but let's see if the DJI Osmo Action 4 can compete. DJI is sponsoring this video and they sent me over the Osmo Action 4 to try, but the audio and the video that you're hearing and seeing is as raw as it gets. The proof is in the pudding with this camera for me, so let's see if it can actually vlog well. My previous Moto Vlog setup consisted of the Hero 8 and the Hero 11. This is the Hero 11 that I typically photo vlog on, but that was a wired setup with a wired microphone. And I usually filmed at 1080p, 60 frames per second. So that's what I'm filming at today on the DJI Osmo Action 4. Now DJI came up with an innovative solution because I no longer have to use a wired microphone, which presents its own set of problems. What I'm recording on right now is the DJI Mic 2. It's a Bluetooth wireless microphone microphone that automatically records the audio to the camera that's on my helmet. One of my biggest concerns with Bluetooth microphones was that the quality wasn't going to be that good. But I want to see today if DJI can change my mind. And the proof will be the quality of this Moto Vlog. Vlogging with a wired microphone has a couple of different issues. Even with a good microphone that I consistently rely on, if I accidentally bump the connection that goes into the media mod of the GoPro, it's over. <laughs> Something that's happened to me multiple times. And when you're fiddling around here on your helmet, perhaps like you want to scratch something, lift your visor up, adjust your glasses because I ride with glasses. That was just user error. However, with the Bluetooth mic, there's no risk of that happening. It's just clipped to the inside of my helmet right now to the chin skirt. The way that I had it in this moto vlog is basically just clipped to the chin skirt and it was kind of facing up towards me. The video footage on the DJI is stunning. That's There's no way around it. It's great. And it's nothing short of what I would expect from a huge company like DJI who produces good quality products. And again, I'm only filming at 1080p because this is what I usually film and you can go up to 4K. In fact, let's talk about the video options for a second. We have a one and one third inch sensor with good low light capability. You can actually film at 4K up to 120 frames per second and have a 155 degree field of view. Several different modes which you can stabilize the video footage. I keep mine on rock steady and that actually I think looks pretty good for moto vlogging footage. You also have a 155 degree field of vision in ultra wide mode. It features a 90% larger sensor size but weighs 6% lighter overall. All right, so we established video quality great and even the low light is better than GoPro. However, to a moto vlogger, honestly, I'm not moto vlogging at night that much. To me, it's much more important to be able to get just quality audio out of it. And a couple months ago, I started seeing uh, moto vloggers I follow, like her two wheels, get the DJI Osmo Action 4. The sound quality they were getting out of it was great. As someone who uses a traditional wired microphone, sometimes those fail, like if you bump them a certain way. But Bluetooth microphones are a whole different ball game. They have the potential to be really great. You don't have to wire anything in your helmet, but you have the Bluetooth audio quality, <laughs> which is what I've been scared of. Like even Cardo Bluetooth systems have the feature now where you can record audio using Bluetooth, the one that's coming out of your Cardo, but the quality on that, it's not great. And I wouldn't use it <laughs> as a primary means of moto vlogging audio ever. Uh, maybe as a backup if I think my microphone's gonna give out, it'd be great to have a Cardo backup, but my main concern with the Bluetooth mic on this was can I get decent quality audio out of it? And what you've been hearing me so far has been through the DJI Bluetooth microphone that you can connect to the camera and it will automatically sync the Bluetooth microphone audio to the camera. So you don't have to do that separately in post. But from what I've seen so far, moto vloggers using this camera with the Bluetooth mic, the audio sounds really good. And if there is any Bluetooth audio hiccups, I will leave them in because I do want you guys to see that, regardless if this is a sponsored video. But if there aren't any that I can find in the footage, then obviously you guys won't hear those. One of the nice things if you're going to use this camera for photo vlogging specifically is that you can buy a battery case with slots for three different batteries, which have definitely come in handy for me in the past when I was photo vlogging in uh, Spain and that was a continuous day of 
test riding that Triumph Daytona, I was switching batteries. I want to say in my experience so far, the battery on this does last longer than on the Hero 11, which is what's on the bike right now. They also say that with 100% battery life, you can capture 160 minutes of footage. And 90 minutes of footage when recording at 4K 60 FPS. And the battery can fast charge to 80% in 18 minutes. I think another one of the features that would give this camera a leg up over the GoPro is the mount. You can see right now, I don't have to use any additional mods around the camera to make this work. Like I have to do on the GoPro, I need the media mod or else I can't record audio. But the DJI has a magnetic mechanism and a clip lock mechanism that work together and it just kind of snaps into place and it's in there secure. You push open the two clips, you line it up, and you snap it on. That's, that's not going anywhere. The clip on the DJI, it's much easier to get the camera on and off of it. So in terms of convenience, check mark for the DJI. I think you guys are going to see this camera as part of my regular arsenal in moto vlogging, either using it to record with the Bluetooth microphone where the camera is on my helmet or using it to record similar to where you see the GoPro now where it's recording me on the bike. From what I've seen so far, the footage using this to record myself on the bike is extraordinary it looks amazing all i had to do in post-production was just color grade whatever it is i wanted to color grade but the footage from that triumph video turned out really really good and that was like a sunny day and oftentimes i was filming where the sun was behind me and i thought it still looked good the dji does have three built-in microphones so if you wanted to use it to just actually vlog you could do that they have an AI wind reduction feature, but obviously you can't use the built-in microphones to motovlog even if there is a wind reduction feature because your voice inside the helmet is not going to get picked up at motorcycling speeds. <laughs> you do need to get the Bluetooth microphones if you want the audio. You can't just purchase the camera. One thing I wanted to say about the battery life of this thing, when I turned it on, it said 15 hours. I could record for 15 hours on this one mic. The camera is only $299, so it's uh, significantly cheaper than a GoPro. Let's see, are we going in a general eastward direction? We are. <laughs> Thank you, little compass. See, this is, this is why I love the compass. I have no general idea of where I want to go, but <laughs> I know that I want to go east. Stay. Stay. Good. <laughs> I talk to cars sometimes like, uh, like I'm talking to a dog. I wonder what this Bluetooth mic makes my exhaust sound like. Let's find out together. <laughs> well, what do you guys think about the sound quality at highway speeds? What are we doing right now? 70? I haven't yet tested this at highway speed, so this is going to be a first one for both of us. Overall, can you use the DJI Osmo Action 4 as a motovlog camera with the setup that I have going right now? Absolutely you can, because more competition in the market only means a win for us motovloggers. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.